on our Windows 8 client machine. We previously installed some of the tools from ADK, but not all of them. We installed the deployment tools, the WinPE, USMT, and Volume Activation Management tool. Now we need to also install the Windows Performance Toolkit. When that completes, you're sitting at a blank page that says, Welcome to the Assessment and Deployment Kit. Go ahead and click Close. We're ready to work. Then we'll go to the Start page. And I need to scroll over here and find my newly installed Window Performance Recorder. And you know what? I'm going to grab that guy and just pull him right over here and put him with My Tools. And we'll need to run it as an admin, so right-click, choose Run as Administrator. Then let's look at our options. This is where things get a little bit more interesting. So this tool is going to gather different kinds of information based on the resources you choose and then the different scenarios you choose. So just so you can get a little bit used to this, we can check out the CPU usage, disk I.O. activity, file I.O. activity, registry, networking, heap usage, pull usage, if you need to learn information about what's going on with RAM, V allocation, power usage, and GPU, for your graphical processing unit. Under the scenario analysis, you can look specifically for audio glitches, video glitches, i.e. mini filter I.O. activity. And we could actually add a profile that we had created previously that would tell it exactly which resources and scenario analysis to record information from. Under the performance scenarios, it defaults to general, which is just telling me kind of what's going on with this machine while it's currently booted. You do have some other scenarios to choose from. You could choose, tell me what happens during boot, a fast startup, shutdown, a reboot cycle, going into standby and then resuming, as well as going into hibernate and resuming. We're going to choose boot. Under the detail level, it depends on what you've selected under your resources as to which detail level you're going to get. A lot of these, the only thing you get is verbose. That's it. So, if you do get the option to do light, that normally has to do with one of the resources like networking activity. And when you do light, you get things like error messages, connections, disconnections, some of the major things that have happened, not every single packet that has been transmitted, which is what you would get on verbose. Verbose is give me everything you got. I'm going to leave it set to verbose for now. The logging mode, again, this is dependent upon what resources you've chosen. You've got choices of file or memory. If it's memory, that's a circular memory file and things can easily be overwritten. If you need to have a sequential log file, then you want to go with file. And we'll just leave it with file since that's the only option we have. Under number of iterations, it's going to perform this three times. Then you'll have a chance to go in and look at each one individually and see if something might have happened differently on the network that could be causing issues. The only thing we need to do to kick this off is tell it to start. And it shows us where it's going to store our new log files. It's going to put it in our administrator's documents. Within that, the WPR files, it will name it the machine name, date, time, and if we cruise on over to the end, we see that the extension is an ETL. So it's a special type of log file. You could browse and put it anywhere you want, but I'm good with that. In a description, I'm just going to type in that I want to see boot issues. The slow down my machine. Click Save. And it comes up and lets you know, well, if you want me to check and see what's going on during the boot process, I have to reboot the machine. So let's tell it OK. Go ahead, reboot this guy. We'll allow it to sign us off and start keeping track of what's occurring during the boot process. When the machine comes back up, you will need to log on. 
and go to your desktop to see how much longer the boot trace is going to take. It's generating the first boot trace file and then it pops out to go do iteration number two. We'll log on one last time and go to our desktop When that finishes for the third time and you get that the boot trace information was successfully saved, click OK. Now we can close Performance Recorder and pop back over to our additional tools. We'll open the Performance Analyzer. We'll maximize that screen and then choose File, Open, and we'll open the WPR Files folder. Select our first ETL file. Takes a couple seconds for this to load. And notice how it's building our little graphs for us over on the left hand side under the Graph Explorer. So we're looking here at System Activity. If I expand System Activity, we can take a look at in-depth information on stacks, Windows logon timeline, boot phases, threads, processes, services. And if you want to grab one and pull it on over into the analysis, you just click and drag him over there. And it makes it a little bit bigger so you can actually read it and see what each one of the issues or how long each process took during the boot process. So you can cut this down, go in and look at the user initialization, explore, all kinds of fantastic information, and you can grab additional graphs under computation. We have information about, scroll up on that, the CPU usage, sampled and precise, which they look pretty neck and neck to me, under storage. We have ready boot events, Ready Boot Cache, under Disk Usage, we have Service Time by Process, we can click and drag that over if we'd like, I.O. Time, Counts by Process, Activity, Utilization, as you can see you can get incredibly detailed information out of these traces. And one thing that you might want to use these for is if you have to send something to Microsoft, they can give you either a profile to use that's already built and will get all the system resources they need to troubleshoot an issue, or you can also do it yourself. But it's a great utility and it is what used to be called XPerf is now Windows Performance Recorder.